In this video, we're going to show you how to do some finishing techniques on a concrete retaining wall that has color added to the mix. Thanks for connecting to one more of our concrete videos. Here we have a fire pit that we framed and we poured with a color and it's going to be a sand finish. We already um, sprayed it with a special retardant liquid that, that will help us give us a sand finish effect. And right here next to that um, fire pit, we have this retaining wall that is about three foot high. And then on this other side, we have this other wall that is about three and a half foot tall. And uh, we're starting to work the finish on the inside of the edge. And right here we have a um, the hand float. And then we also have the, um, the edger. And so we're starting to, you know, fix a little details here. Like this piece of rebar, it was, um, you know, sticking out of the concrete. So we went ahead and, and grinded it, you know, with uh, removed it, cut it out of there. And we're just filling in that little hole and um, so this is a good technique that we use right here we have the hand float on the one hand and then we're running our edger with the other so it gives us that nice clean edge all through the surface right there and uh, we just run our float there you know on the top on the sides this one I mean it doesn't need too much work because that's going to get backfilled, you know, on the back. This one, however, this one's going to be a little, it's going to be a face, you know, where uh, the customer's going to see it um, quite a bit. So we're, we're going to make sure that we, um, you know, make it look really nice. So right here we have our hand float, our hand trowels, and um, we're basically just making sure that we're, we're filling in any of the um little dips or holes or anything like that you know we're just smooth smoothening out the surface uh with our hand float and our hand trowel the edges right there um one of our workers here on the very left you know the the corners um they kind of get rough so we're we're filling those in with concrete and just making sure we have nice cr crisp edges and right here you know we're just starting to remove some of the eight by four form boards that we set up we just um we strip them you know we remove them as carefully as we can and this is the result that we get this is how it looks you know after we remove the forms so you see you know you have a little bit of like uh dips and and uh little honeycomb they call it uh not not too bad you know but we just got to fill those in we just got to work it with our hand float and then another uh, technique that we use is we cover the areas, like the fire pit right here, we covered it with plastic. Um, one of my workers says that we put we cover it with plastic, that way the um, it, it kind of like encloses the concrete area and it causes it to kind of like, uh, uh, you know, almost like sweat a little bit. And that helps with the, um, the process, you know, so that way when we come back the next day to pressure wash it, It'll give us a nice um, sand finish look. So right here, you know, we're just starting to run our, our hand trowel um, and just all on the on the on the backside edge right there. This side is almost done. Uh, it's almost ready, you know, for us to apply that uh, that special liquid that we have. Um, you know, we're just kind of working the edges right there and uh, just, you know, making sure that we um press the tools into the surface that way uh, we get a nice uh smooth finish throughout all of the area and uh you know we have our edging tool right there so we're just checking all of the edges all of the surface just you know uh, making sure that everything is is nice and smooth so here this is another wall on the exterior we're doing the same thing you know and then once everything's done we spray it at the very end and and that's how we leave it and then afterwards you know we cover the whole thing with a plastic and we just leave it there we're going to come back the following day 
So that way we can go ahead and, um, you know, pressure wash it. And I'll show you that on a separate video. So, um, yeah, please stay tuned. You'll see another video uploaded of, uh, you know, us pressure washing and everything. And, and I'll, I'll show you like a, a nice detailed look of, of how everything um, ends up turning out. Uh, so far, the customer's very happy. You know, she saw all the guys working very hard and um, she was very impressed. So that's how everything is turning out right here. This is after we already sprayed the liquid release on the concrete retaining wall surface. We just make sure we have a nice coat, you know, um, decently applied all over the place. And at the very end, we just put plastic. We, we just have a thin plastic. We cover the entire area, the whole thing, you know, that way it just sets there overnight. And we're, we're going to come back the following day to do a nice pressure wash to get the sand finished. So hope you like this video. We'll see you on the next one.